sometimes you want to create classes in Python, but you want those classes to be in a separate file in order to keep things organized and clean. So let's go ahead and look at how we would do that. So I will go ahead and create a text document right here. And my text document is going to be called my classes.py. And then I'm going to have some kind of a program as well that will run this um, classes py thing. So I'll do program.py. And program.py is going to load or import my classes. So I'll go ahead and open that with Notepad++. And you can see that um, I'm also going to open up the program as well. And so now you can see classes py and program.py both here so i'm going to create a simple class so this would be class person and in my person class i'm going to have just a single init with a name and so all it's doing is just saving the name so self name equals name so I get the name from that's passed in and save it as an internal instance variable all right so I can save that and now I go over to the program and I want to load this person class now there's a couple ways I can do that but we'll look at it first of all you can do import classes and that will import a class that is in my path and we'll look at paths in just a moment at this point, I can then talk about this class or use this class to create an object. So P1 equals classes dot person Alice. So I'm creating an instance of the person class and now I'm going to print out print P1 dot name save that and at this point we can see how it runs so I'll run this now so do Python program and it prints out Alice because that is the name that I put when I created the class all right so that's nice but I don't really want to type in this whole classes dot thing here so maybe I want to have the person class imported a different way so I'll comment that out and instead I'll import it. I can do from classes import and I can specify which classes I want to import. I could do person person if I wanted or I could just say star if I want to import all of the classes or everything inside of that classes module. But I'm going to do person right here. So now because I have person imported, I don't need to specify it's part of classes. I can go directly right here, save that, and I just need this person and pass in the value and run it. So you can see it runs as well. But sometimes your code gets really complex and you want to have this classes file somewhere else. Go ahead and close that. And let's go over this directory, and we're going to now create a new folder right here, and we'll call this um, our um, maybe include, so our include directory. And let's say classes gets moved into include. And by the way, these uh, PyCache things are created automatically whenever you import something. Um, you can leave them there or you can just delete them whenever you want. It's fine. They just get recreated, recompiled at startup time. So now inside of include, I've got this classes thing. If I were to try running it now, because it's no longer in the same directory, I try running it and it says that it's no class module thing right here called classes which is frustrating so the question is how do you get that back 
Well, I go in here and now I need to add it to my my path. So I'm going to import sys. And then before I can import this class thing, I'm going to add it to the path. And it was the include directory. So I do sys path append. And then I give it the directory that I'm going to append, which in this case is include. Includes, I believe. Let me check and see. It was include. Just include. All right. So just include right there. You can specify the complete directory. Um, you know, start with slashes or start with um, drive letters if you're on Windows. Either way, you want to include this path, and then you can import it. So I'll go ahead and save that, and let's go ahead and run it now. And I run it, and now it works because it is including the classes module in the path, so it's able to load the classes module and then create an instance of that class. So that should help you figure out how to include other classes um, and load them externally and then use them in your code.